Hello Zany friends and welcome to another book review video. Today I am reviewing 10 Days Gone by Beverly Long. I am going to read the synopsis on Goodreads first and then we're going to come back and talk about what I thought about the book. So apparently this book is number one in a series about A.L. Kittredge who is a detective in the book. So this is the first one in the series. Let me read what it's about. They know exactly when he'll strike. They'll just have to find him first. In all their years working for the Bay Ridge Police Department, detectives A.L. Kittredge and Rena Morgan have never seen anything like it. Four women dead in 40 days, each killed 10 days apart. With nothing connecting the victims and very little evidence, the clock is already counting down to when the next body drops. A.L. and Rena will have to act fast if they're going to find the victims or the killer's next victim before he does. But identifying the killer's next likely target is only half the battle. With pressure pushing in from all sides, a promising breakthrough leads the detectives to Tess Lyons, a woman whose past trauma has left her too damaged to appreciate the danger she's in. Unwilling to let another woman die, A.L. and Rena will put everything on the line to keep Tess safe and end the killer's deadly spree once and for all before time runs out again. So being that this is the first book in the series, I have to say that I'm actually really interested to read more. I don't normally like, I don't know, sometimes I like the whole procedural books when it comes to like murder. Sometimes I like the cop's point of view and sometimes I don't. In this case, it was just really fascinating. Like the fact that they knew every 10 days something was going to happen and they had to figure out the pattern, who it was, and the way that they find out who is next to be killed is also very interesting. I thought the way it was written and the ride was really smart. It was really, it was really smart. So I think if they're all are like this, I will be okay with reading it. Um, I, I also thought that just the way they played the interpersonal elements and the way they played the relationships that the cops had in the book was also very smart. Um, I felt more of a connection with them than I would normally in like cop books, I think. And um, basically the, even the cast of characters of like who was in it was just deep and a lot richer than other like thriller detective series that I have read. So I think that if you really like those kind of things, you will like this book a lot. Um, I'm giving it four stars because I, I just, I read it really fast. I thought it, I thought it was great. I could not put it down because I just really wanted to know how they were going to find who was going to get killed next and how they were going to catch the person who did it. So yeah, it's great. I liked it. Uh, again, I will put all the information down below for you so you can check it out yourself. Do you like procedural cop type books or not? Let me know down below and we will have a discussion about what type of books you like when it comes to like law and order type books. You know what I'm talking about. So thank you so much for watching our little book review and until next time, stay zany.